If you've ever torn or ripped or broken the gasket on a weed eater, lawnmower, or anything like that, sometimes you need a gasket but you don't have one and you want a complete gasket, you don't want to go in there and put any kind of silicone or anything like that on it. So, and you don't really have time to go order it or do anything like that. They make gasket paper. This is gasket paper. Um, you can buy it at most any automotive store. It comes in di different thicknesses. It's about the size of a regular sheet of paper. I think you can get them larger than that. Um, this one's about the same thickness of your most of your gaskets that go around intakes and um, stuff like that, throttle bodies, all that kind of good stuff on weed eaters and lawnmowers and things on the intake side, not the exhaust side. So what you have to do with this paper, put it over the, the place that, that you want to make the gasket. Make sure it's nice and clean and all that good stuff. Hold it into place. And what you'll have to do is you'll have to make uh -oh, you have to make an impression. Take a hammer or something and lay it on a table or whatever you've got, and you just start and you make an impression. And I'm using a, a ball a ball hammer because that little ball I want it to crevices and things where I want my gasket to be. <clears throat> and you can feel around, feel where the holes and stuff are. That's where you want to make sure you make a good impression. You don't want to hit it real hard, just want to make an impression there. Just check and feel around. As you can tell, I've already got an impression in the middle. I've got an outside impression for my gasket. And the only thing I have to do is to take a little razor or something and cut out. It's kind of like going back to school. You cut out the little, you cut out the area for the gasket, cut out the outside, cut out your outside ring, cut out your inside holes and your bolt hole holes and you know you're gonna need um, you're gonna need a sharp razor to do it be careful with that and gasket paper and the good thing is if you mess up these gaskets are so small um, this is a weed eater gasket these gaskets are so small that if you mess up you can always make a new one so it's pretty easy to do um, and the gasket paper is relatively inexpensive and all you have to do is just make your impression and what I usually do is just make the impression all the way around make that gasket keep, keep it same spot So that I know exactly where the holes are going to be. So I've got a, a little bit better impression there now that I went back back through it again. And I can cut that out, cut my holes out for the bolt holes and the center hole. And I've got a new gasket. As you can see, I've already cut one out of this piece of paper. And you can make several. These are so small, you can make as uh, you can make probably four or five out of just this one piece of paper right here. So it it works much better than having to go order your specific gasket for your particular weed or every single time or anything that you're working on. It just makes sense to have some of this stuff laying around. Easy to do, easy to work on, and the bigger the hole, the probably the easier it is. The smaller the hole. It gets a little bit more um, detailed, but there's there are different things that you can do. Um, for example, you could you could uh, put some screws in through here and push it down on it.
to get the to get your um, center on each one of these screws and just cut it from the top. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can do it. So, but um, it's just an idea on how to make your own gasket for a weed eater or a lawnmower or small engine stuff.